Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. This is I'm going to bring it on home to you with the harmonica part. So this is a song by Willie Dixon. It was uh, done for Sonny Boy Williamson. Led Zeppelin covered it. So to me, in my mind, it's just complete blues heaven. So uh, I'm going to play a little bit of it and then show you exactly what I'm doing. So here we go. Oh, I have a companion video for this, so look at that too. <laughs> Four, 24 those are the gauges they're wound those are electric guitar strings and uh, I am playing here through a Roland mini cube now we'll take the noose off and uh, put that down there give the harmonica a tap and let it sit right on my knee so this song here is uh, in the key of E but where do we know E is so E or at G G sharp a, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E. And I'm here on the ninth fret. So I'm right here on a bar chord on the ninth fret. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do this little rock and roll rhythm, and I'm going to put this middle finger here, this uh, third finger, and I'm going to put it right there on that C sharp. So that's the eleventh fret of the D string. So I'm going to go and that's how the rhythm is. It's really, really a difficult rhythm to get. I'm not saying it's easy in any way, but you're going to need this rhythm in, in lots and lots of songs. So the first thing I would try to do is down, down, downs. And if you notice, I'm coming on that C sharp twice. And as you get better at this, one, your wrist is going to get really tired, your thumb is going to get tired, your first finger is going to get tired. So just be aware to do this maybe five minutes a day until you build up your uh, muscles within your hand and your thumb because you, you are going to get tired quickly. This is a very tiring, repetitious type of thing. But if you want to play this kind of stuff, you have to play a lot of it. And so, you know, play five or ten minutes of this a day. So I go down and up and down because I find that's easier when I'm singing. But you could certainly just do it like so. Slow. Baby. Baby. I'm gonna bring it on. Conductor 
seriously the whole song. It's two chords. Really, if you listen really hard right at the end, there's a B7, but I wouldn't worry about it. But it's right at the end of the song and you'll barely hear it, so don't even worry about it. So it's E on the ninth fret and A. And you can play along with the album and uh, have a lot of fun with that. And you can just do it like this. So you can play it like that and it's just fine. It's just great to get this, right, or a, it just makes it easier for me to sing and play harmonica and stuff to do it this way, but that's because I've been doing this for an awful long time. So uh, also something I found that my um, students have trouble with is playing through the chord, because you'll sit here and go, that. Here I'm not. You think you're playing through, but you're not. So focus getting those three notes right, right, as you hit this note. So focus on that. It's really important to get all of your notes all the time. Don't get into a sloppy habit. Trust me, I've been in sloppy habits, and it just takes you so long to dig out of that hole, it's not even worth it. So, we've got the basic song structure down. Let's talk about harmonicas. This is a Lee Oscar. You've seen them before. Um, I like Lee Oscars. I like Honer. I like uh, Seidel's. Um, those are the brands that I like. Um, these, the harps I play are about 50 bucks, 45, 43, then they're shipping, whatever. Um, they come in keys. So if you want to play blues in E, that ninth fret blues that we just did, you need a harmonica in A. Okay? It's just kind of the way it works. If you want to play country or like Bob Dylan, you would play this A in the key of A. So the best thing to do with harmonicas is go to the Lee Oscar page or Google harmonica, cross harp, second position, whatever, okay? And find out what harmonica is best for you. Because if you're playing Bob Dylan, right, and you're playing an A, that's great, because you're just blow. If you're playing in blues, okay, the key changes. It's just the way harmonicas are built. I don't know why, and it doesn't matter. But I like Lee Oscars because they tell you on the side of the harp, okay? Second position, first position. First position is Bob Dylan-ish, country-ish. Second position is blues. That's all I know. So with this harp, though, You've got little numbers. You can see the numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's got ten numbers, ten holes. So in this song, the fourth hole is the one you want to draw on. So harmonica, you blow and draw. So you blow and you draw. That's what you do. So the four hole is an A. When you draw, it's different. Now you're E. It's just the way it is. They're very strange and, and, and you just got to get one and start figuring them out. But uh, this is a great harmonica. So what I'm doing is, is I'm drawing on the four hole with the baby. Right? I'm drawing on the four hole, and then when we do this, take my, uh, Bob, my ticket, 
got my load. I'm on the two hole. The two hole is really hard on a harmonica. Um, it takes a different type of blow draw than the rest of the keys, but it's more a you can hear that difference. It's just a little different. So just remember on the bought my ticket, got my load, that's on the two hole and the four hole is where you want to do the bay bay. And uh, really that's that's the song. You know, here we'll put this thing back together and uh, show you how this goes. Um, somebody sent me a fancy harmonica holder that sits on a microphone, but since I'm not playing through a microphone, this has to work. These things can sometimes be uh, interesting tools. I also like to move my harmonica where I'm going to use it. So if I'm singing to you here, I want to push it farther over enough that when I reach down, I am on the four hole, okay? So here I am. <laughs> I am close to the four hole. If you stuff it here, all the way the other way, now you gotta find the four hole and you're crouched over a little bit to find it. So I like to get my bearings on a harmonica in the holder where it's gonna be where I'm gonna use it best. That's me. There are fancy ways to set these holders up. I just stick it in and go. It's also a little knob here and I like it to fall. So that's how I play these things. So it's really fun to do that. It's fun to play this tune. It was actually, this is probably the first song I ever played, sing, play, and play harmonica at the same time. So this song goes way back for me when I was 15 years old. So like I said, this is just a great tune. It's fairly easy, although the... <laughs> This is hard, but if you practice every day, you're going to get this fairly quickly, and then you're going to build up your muscles because you're going to want to play this song a lot. It's Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do. I really do appreciate it. I do have a PayPal link here down below. It's a uh, paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips, and uh, you know, you'll end up seeing... Um, Uncle Mark uh, voice, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mark Piper voice, sometimes you see that. Don't worry, it's me. Uh, I used to do some uh, voiceover, and uh, every once in a while I still get a job doing voiceover. So uh, that's really fun. A buck a show is all we ask here, and uh, I told you I'd show you some of these settings. I am back on the clean setting here, so this is my clean setting. And uh, my gain is almost zero. I'm on the Brit combo. I've got a little bit of reverb and my tone is dimed. So uh, there you go. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. More lessons. Next up, the Led Zeppelin version of this, which is just so fun. So we'll see you then.